There are so many restaurants that have opened up in the Milwaukee area in the past three years. It's just, it's phenomenal. Uh, one is more interesting than, than the next. The diversity that each restaurant is offering, I think is incredible, and there's, there's something for everyone's taste. Just about every group you can find in the city, you know, it's largely German. That was the beginning roots of this, but there's a lot of Italians, Polish, um, just a wonderful mix of people. and. That's where a lot of our restaurants grew from. I can't think of a food that people would look for that they can't get here and have it be less than excellent. Like we have great African food, we have great Middle Eastern food, great Mexican food. We have all kinds of young chefs doing really cool things in their kitchens. Gosh, there's so <laughs> much. If I have my choice right now, yeah. I don't know. Great Mexican restaurants down on you know 27th Street. Years you know, probably 10 different ones you could experience. Same thing on 5th and National mm -hmm. right there in that little stretch. There's just yeah. a ton of mes Mexican restaurants. Mm -hmm. It's one of the funny things, like when we have people come up to visit us, it's always like, so what, where do you want to eat? What type of food do you want? We've got it all. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there's everything from Indian. We go to Bombay Sweets, which is a, a real more mom and pop family style place to Maharaja, which is right around the corner, which and that's dangerous because it's right around the corner. <laughs> when you go to Paris, which is my favorite city in the world, and you walk down the street, you can get anything you would ever order anywhere in the world. It's all there on the street, and so when we were doing this place, we wanted to be an authentic cafe and that you can come here and spend hours reading the newspaper, writing your next novel, reading, drinking coffee, having a snack, or coming in for lunch or dinner, a main meal. We actually had coffee there like a week or two ago. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. uh, you got, well, you've got, uh, it's, it's, it's sort of indoor-outdoor. There are roof coverings, but mm -hmm. it's all open air. When my husband and I like to go out and eat, we, we just love, we love food. We love going out and dining. Um, you know, you, of course, you, you know, Joey Bartolotta has done incredible things in Milwaukee. We love Lake Park Bistro. We like the old Bartolottas and Tosa. And then, of course, some of the newer restaurants that are just kind of interesting are uh, the Palms, Sauce. Those are just really wonderful, fun places. So many options for you. Quality of some of the restaurants are just second to none. I think you'd be mighty, mighty surprised. I absolutely love, we have a couple of real great sushi restaurants, which again might be completely surprising, but I think it's lake inspired. <laughs> The number and the quality of outdoor seating options has blown exponentially. Riverwalk is packed with outdoor places. It seems like every place that opens now has some area so that you can eat outside and eat really well outside. Outdoor dining is increasing, and uh, we're very excited about all the restaurants that are doing it in Milwaukee. These restaurants rank right up there with any other restaurants I've, I've been to in, uh, throughout the U.S. Um, that surprises a lot of people. The quality of the restaurants have, has risen dramatically in the last five, six years compared to 10, 15 years ago. It's been, a, it's a dramatic change and that's a real plus. Plus.